When we talk about React or also about Angular and Vue as a side note, we also have to keep in mind that we can essentially build two kinds of web applications with all these libraries and frameworks. We can build a single page application or a multi-page application. Now what's the difference? In a single page application, we only get back one single HTML file by the server. And we get back this file at the first time the user visits the page. So the first time the user visits example.com. Thereafter, everything is managed with JavaScript, with React. The entire page consists of components which are rendered and handled by JavaScript. On the other hand, in a multi-page application, we get back multiple HTML pages where each page has the content for a given route, a given URL we visited. For example.com and example.com slash users, we get back two different pages, that's important. Now on multi-page applications, we might also use React, but only to create little widgets, so to say. So individually contained components we dump into that page, but not the entire page is managed by React. We also see this on some pages, but the more popular approach these days is the single page application approach, because if you manage the entire page with JavaScript, you never have to go back to the server and reload the page. And that is an amazing user experience because everything happens instantly. And even if the user needs to wait, you're showing a spinner or you're still presenting a reactive web app. You're not just showing a loading page where the user can't do anything. So in single page applications, our page is built up with components and every component is a React component and the entire page also is managed by a root React component and is just under React's control. In the multi-page application, on the other hand, we also could split up our app into theoretical components, but actually a lot of the page is just going to be normal HTML and CSS code and some widgets we dump in, like an image gallery or something like that, is managed by React. So the entire page is not under React's control. The individual widgets don't know of each other's existence. Therefore, in the single application case, which is the case we'll cover in this course, we typically only have one React DOM render call. This method you saw in the previous lectures where we created our first app. Now we only need one because we have one root app component there, which is mounted to the DOM, which hosts all other React components. In the multi-page application, we would typically call React DOM render more often to render our different components in different places of the app. You saw that React DOM render allows you to pick a place in your HTML code where you want to render your app. And therefore you have these widgets which don't know of each other's existence. Now you can build such an application too and the React code you write won't differ, so this course actually covers both, but I will focus on the single page application case since that also allows us to use some libraries like React Router and is the most popular way of creating web apps these days and also the approach I can only recommend to you.